Sick of being told to put down the controller and get your pasty face outside for some fresh air? Well, today's episode is on location-based gaming and should give you some motivation to get up off your ass and into the real world. God, I sound like my mother. Hi, Mum. So for starters, what is a location-based game? Well, surprisingly enough, it's one that somehow depends on your location to progress, and it usually relies on some sort of localization technology, such as GPS, to work this out. Geocaching is probably the best-known example, and is basically a worldwide outdoors treasure hunt. Someone hides a cache in a particular location, which can be anywhere from under a park bench to the top of a mountain, and posts the coordinates on one of the various geocaching websites. To find caches, look up coordinates online, and then take your GPS unit and go find your treasure. Typically, a box containing a logbook for you to record your escapades, and various trinkets from which you can select a treasure to take away, provided you replace it with something else for the next person who hits that cache. Now, the first recorded example was in May 2000, when GPS got a lot more accurate after the removal of selective availability. Also from 2000 was Bot Fighters, one of the first location-based games to use mobile phones, although it blended this real-world gameplay with online trappings. Players created robots on a website and registered them to their phones. Now, the game demanded that in order to fight, your phone needed to be within a certain physical proximity to another player's phone, so you played by wandering around and using GSM to tell if there were other players in the vicinity, and then attacking them by SMS. Throughout the decade, there have been a number of these games, and one of my favourites has to be Pac Manhattan, designed by interactive telecommunication students at NYU in 2004. Now, this reconceptualises Manhattan as a Pac Man grid, in which a real life Pac Man can gobble dots and chase and be chased by real life ghosts. As GPS and Wi Fi weren't too reliable in built up areas like Manhattan at the time, then the players each have a buddy or controller that they're in constant mobile phone contact with, who inputs their movements into a piece of software mapping out the game's progress and relays information back to the player. As localization technology has become both more sophisticated and more widely available, and ideas about gaming and interactivity have really taken hold, location based games have been given stronger platforms and a much wider potential audience. The latest developments come from Locomatrix, a company who, in a bid to inject new ideas into the mobile gaming scene and to get kids playing outside, have developed a location-based gaming platform for you to download to your mobile phone. You'll need either a GPS-enabled phone or a compatible phone and a Bluetooth GPS receiver. Download the program and go find yourself a wide open space. Dial up a game and a game board which corresponds to the real world around you will appear on your phone screen. Move around in the real world to achieve objectives in the game, such as collecting oranges in this fruit farmer game. You can play on your own, but the fun really starts when you add in other players who are working the same map as you, which they can do either in the same real world location or hundreds of miles away. You can also design and customise your own game boards. So why not give it a go? You'll find some helpful web links to get you started over at channelflip.com forward slash games. And you can also leave us a comment and tell us about your experiences. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.